Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sonia Suri. I'm presenting for Denton Corker Commercial today, the Shepparton Art Museum, or SAM for short. Um, Denton Corker Marshall's design for SAM was selected as a winning entry in a limited design competition in April 2017. And in October 2021, the museum finally opened its doors to the public. In this presentation, I will focus on some of the design elements that contributed to SAM's unique urban design response. So first of all, the positioning of the building on the existing site was, of course, absolutely critical. The site we found was ideal. Um, you can see here the road into town coming up from Melbourne. The site is located in a very popular park. It also housed a petrol station, so some, um, of course, demo, decanting and decontamination of the soil was required. We teamed up with landscape designers, urban initiatives who had extensive experience in the development of the park, the beautiful lake there in the background and the wetlands. Together, we designed a building solution in support of the floodways we found on the site, a series of bioswales vegetated with indigenous plants are designed into the surrounding landscape really focused on retention and repair. So the logical solution appeared to be a very compact building, a small footprint, a maximum of about 1200 square meters was requested, and we ex extruded that over five floor levels. So again, you can see here Wyndham Street, um, we've pushed the building very close to the road for best visibility and again to maximize the beautiful lakeside park space and um, the square building was slightly rotated, you can see this well on the side plan, uh, to create four distinct community public spaces and four identities. Of course, there is the civic forecourt to the actual main entrance to SAM. There is the southern arrival and drop-off area associated with the visitor information center, also a tenant in the building. There's the shaded community art space towards the lake used by Kayela Arts, the indigenous art community. There's also the amphitheater here. And then finally, the art hill uh, to the sunny northern side provides access to the cafe, which is actually a floor level up because the art hill also disguises loading and some plant um, under its mount. Shepparton is very flat. You can appreciate from this image, it sits in this vast Goulburn River plain. So to be elevated in Shepparton is quite special. For the design of SAM, it brought several advantages with it. So once, the small footprint maximizes the love, much loved park space, as we said. Um, we extruded the small footprint over five floors to accommodate the 5,300 square meters of briefed area. The second reason is really to be being tall in Shepparton. It makes the building a real beacon in the landscape. It creates this landmark for Shepparton. It's visible from a distance upon approach. We also wanted the building to be viewable in the round, building with four frontages rather than a front and a backside. The other major urban design attribute is the screening of the back of house area under the the land from the art hill on the left hand side of the image here. So by screening the loading dock, you can just see the entrance to the loading dock over there, uh, the services plant, waste room, etc. The building really becomes this sculptural form within the parkland. And of course, the art hill creates an upper ground floor and the entrance to the cafe over here. In this way, SAM is viewable in the round. It becomes a conceived lens sculpture composed of these four monumental floating L-shaped plates coming together 
different heights and with contrasting materials. From a distance, the plates give nothing away yet. Um, the interior of it really only becomes legible on approach. At the base, they float seemingly unsupported. And they, they only really open up upon, upon approach. There's some references to Richard Serra's installation in the Qatari desert, where he uses these impossibly thin monolithic steel plates. And that was some great design inspiration for us. Similarly, we conceive Sam as comprising of these four monumental floating L-shaped plates that appear to be suspended in the landscape. And then they come together at the different heights and they form this abstract composition. All four building frontages feature an L-shaped plate and thereby give identity to the respective building frontages and their building users within. The facade plates include very few windows. Little daylight is desired in the galleries proper. But in contrast, we have also designed a central galleria and two very large windows to the transitional exhibition spaces. And they are very strongly connected via two large windows to the east and west facades respectively. And they are deliberately positioned to draw visitors into the building upon arrival and to connect back to the landscape and to the lake from within. And that's obviously now an image um, from, from the inside, the central galleria and some some respite areas and looking out again uh, over the landscape and back to the lake there. A very quick look at um, the internal brief and, and spatial arrangement. One minute remaining. Thanks, ground floor and main entrance and this connection through to Keela Arts, the visitor information center on the south, large gallery space above and the cafe further gallery spaces, back of house and um, admin. And then finally, going up the stairs to level four, there's uh, function spaces, a bar, library, and then a beautiful terrace overlooking again the lake and creating this connection back to the outside and the landscape also from the top floor. And there it is settled in well now. And um, I think really, uh, really in use now by the community in Shepparton. Thank you very much.